Hi, and welcome back. This is Kirsten with the Nonprofit Academy. In the email with the link to this video, you should have also received a link to the one-page fundraising plan. Go ahead and pull that up on your screen or, or print it out right now. Press pause if you have to. I'll wait. Okay, now that you have the plan in front of you, I'll walk through it. There are four primary sections to the page, and if you've identified diff your different audiences, I do recommend that you fill out one of these pages for each of those audiences. The first section is your goals. Just saying, raise more money than last year is not sufficient. If you have to, make a guess about the amount you want to aim for the first time around. With time, it will get easier to decide on your goals. The important thing, though, is to have something to aim for. And remember that you can adjust it through the year if you need to. You can also include non-monetary goals here, things like percent of your board that contributes or the number of people that you'll speak in front of this year. This is a good place to include your gift ranges, too. The next section is your SWOT analysis. For this purpose, you don't need to spend a whole lot of time working on this section, but it is important to realistically assess where you are and what you have to work with. Strengths and weaknesses look at those things internal to your organization, while opportunities and threats are externals, those circumstances that exist in your community and around you. Next is the plan. On the one side, we're including information on your market, media, and message. Market is the audience to whom you are speaking. Media is the format in which you're communicating with people. That could be via social media, print advertising, direct mail, things like that. Finally, the message is what you're saying, and it's important to make sure that really resonates with your market. In the right-hand column, we're looking at the three major parts of the fundraising funnel that we talked about earlier in the series. That's acquisition, engagement, and retention. And you'll want to list out the activities you're doing in each of those areas for the particular target market that you're communicating with. The section on the bottom of the page is where you include your month-by-month -month activities. This helps to make sure that you're not going too long between contacts. Regular communication throughout the year is one of the things that will help keep your donors giving year after year. And remember, it's always much cheaper to keep your current donors giving than it is to try to find new ones every single year. So that wraps up your one-page fundraising plan. Now, obviously, there's a lot more we could cover about each of these topics if we had more time, but that's about it for today. I look forward to talking with you more tomorrow to wrap things up and to talk about some next steps that you can take to get more information if you like. See you tomorrow.